Hello everybody, today we'll talk about safety and I will present you the concept of safety crowdsourcing. I am Bruce Lanzaripov, I am the CEO of Creed Company and we'll show you the solution and we'll show you the business benefits of uh, risk hunting. Uh, when we talk about heavy industry, we always mean that it's uh, connected with heavy risks. For example, uh, these are two pictures of a uh, metallurgy plant of, uh, and of refinery. And these uh, enterprises are huge. So the size can be 10 square kilometers. Uh, and of course, at these size of uh, enterprises, the incidents are inevitable. Uh, so if we look at some statistics for the United States in 2022, there were uh, five and a half thousand of fatal work injuries by different types and the number of injuries is increasing. So uh, why it's uh, still increasing and what's the problem with the conventional risk management? First of all, it's a static procedures and policies so we build the list of procedures uh, and we always try to comply with them without developing the new culture and this traditional safety is based on periodic inspection so the health and security officer is performing the uh, his uh, daily routines and uh, checking the checklist so it's very time consuming and we may not capture the unforeseen risks and what's uh, also I have to mention is that uh, uh, the conventional risk management is based on uh, past statistics we analyze incidents and improve the policy rather than identifying and moving proactively so it's a reactive approach to the safety and of course uh, uh, the limited employee engagement uh, uh, the employees are usually outside of the safety process they have to follow they have to stick to the rules but uh, they are not uh, part of this strategy so what we would like to achieve with uh, Risk Hunter is the crowd safety crowdsourcing. What do we call the safety crowdsourcing? This is the process when every employee is uh, becoming the proactive uh, uh, person and he's involved into the safety, involved into identifying new potential risks. So. Our concept is uh, based on the bottom-up motivation, how we call it. So conventional risk management is the top-down motivation and our concept is based on the bottom-up motivation. So we want everyone to become part of the new safety culture and we want to engage and uh, focus people on finding safety issues in the enterprises. So the focus safety is first and productivity is second. So safety is always uh, more important than current duties. And this is the concept. Uh, so in practice, uh, we have a technology platform that supports this concept. It's called Risk Hunter. And what's the idea that everyone has the mobile application and if you spot the risk you take a photo and you comment you assign it to the category and send it to the risk manager the risk manager validates this risk and if he confirms that this is the real one uh, then the employee who reported is uh, receiving the reward for that the bonus points uh, well, we have been speaking a lot on motivation in the system and we have currently two motivation models. First is material motivation. So when you reach certain number of 
points then you can exchange them for some tangible prizes, uh, discount vouchers, uh, certificates, uh, subscription to the online cinema and so on. This is the material motivation but what works better is the non-material or personal motivation. Well, recent researches show that uh, uh, intangible motivation uh, has the better, works better in long term. So that's why currently we focus on the personal motivation more than on material one. And we have the uh, list of personal pages so you can reach a certain level within the um, department after you get certain number of points and you receive awards and so uh, we want this motivation to be the uh, foundation of our solution so if you report for example 17 tasks then you can get the uh, level 1 hunter and so on uh, what is important is the hunting season so in our solution we have the hunting season so that we can focus attention on certain uh, types of risks. For example, in winter it could be one category, say in summertime or after rain it can be another one. So the hunting season allows us to focus attention on certain problems like electricity risks for example next two weeks we look for the electricity issues and then we can focus and concentrate all the people on problems uh, within the company uh, uh, well uh, hunting season is also connected with the gamification we have the competitions in the system so different plans can compete with each other and uh, even different teams within one plan can compete between each other. So uh, that uh, really drives the involvement and uh, more interest into the system. So we had some uh, situations when uh, the people were really keen to have the first place in the competition. So that's the uh, competition uh, spirit and what's also important that we can not only uh, give rewards for taking the first place but we can also can give rewards for passing safety training well for passing safety exams so it's not only about uh, finding the risks but it's also about being prepared so it's the spirit of collaboration and the loyalty of staff. Um, well, uh, of course, uh, in the risk hunter, it's very important to uh, attend the training to properly identify the risks. Uh, and uh, for this, we also grant the uh, bonus points for passing uh, surveys for and taking all the trainings uh, and we integrate the risk hunter with corporate uh, learning system so that we can also uh, integrate the risk hunter into the learning process uh, in the morning uh, when the person is fresh and ready to work we have the safety quests so that uh, you are uh, don't forget the safety uh, uh, lessons and that's every morning we can have some random tests tip of the days uh, and uh, it's pushed by the notification so that you don't forget to pass it uh, depending on the location in the large plants there can be different uh, risky places, risky locations. So we have a location-based safety brief. When you enter, for example, the very house area, then you will get a video on uh, risks uh, related to very house management. And uh, that's good for large enterprises. Um, but what's important uh, is that every reported risk has to be 
mitigated and after it had been eliminated the person who reported it should get a notification about the elimination of the risk because if there is no feedback then the employees they quickly lose the interest in this application so the feedback is the core uh, part of our application and the risk manager also has the mobile applications so he can be in the field and he can assign the task to other people to other workers to fix something or to prevent uh, this from happening in the future uh, what's uh, also important is the statistics so we can always see the percentage of risks eliminated we can see which risks are trending for example fall from height or get uh, contact with dangerous uh, substances so we always can stay on track and see how we progress in making the environment safer it can it can be also aggregated by year so we have for statistics on the type of the risk uh, sleeps or trips uh, exposure to harmful substances and we can always be informed on the progress and on the of course the high priority risk should be eliminated first so we can have the focus on these kinds of risks and uh, there are some some examples real life examples for example that's the open engine and after it has been reported so we have the protective cover with a sign on that so that no one puts his hand into this and uh, that's the s steam coming out of the pipe so it had been fixed and now that's the picture after the uh, work had been done uh, well what's the advantages of our solution it's that we involve all employees into the process we use the gamification and we ensure the feedback so every risk is spotted and eliminated and uh, we have the uh, history of using this solution for three years now and for that time we have registered more than 150,000 risks and out of them almost 600 are extremely uh, dangerous situations so which could cause the fatal injury or death uh, so uh, we also have the statistics that the risk hunter reduces number of injuries by 25 percent and out of this uh, number of fatalities also uh, go down so for the three years we have almost 50 percent uh, decrease in fatalities so that's uh, the last slide of my presentation so we are working hard to improve the safety and you are welcome to use the gamification and use the concept in your enterprises thank you